So the results of the draft lottery are still sort of fresh upon us, and some teams definitely left the event happier than others. One of them being the Raptors who landed higher than expected with the 4th overall pick. And you know, in a draft class that's both top heavy and deep with talent, I'm sure within the Raptors management, the million dollar question right now is simply, who should they actually draft? Now realistically, obviously Cade and Jalen Green will be long gone before the 4th pick. At least they should be. And then Mobley will probably be gone as well to be honest. So yeah, that leaves the choices of Jalen Suggs and Kaminga, who both have tremendous upside. But as the title states, I believe the Raptors should choose not Kaminga but Jalen Suggs at that number 4 spot. And that isn't really a hot take. Many people see Suggs as the best available prospect at number 4 anyway. But my reasoning for Suggs to Toronto goes far beyond just that. So yeah, today I'm going to explain the main reasons why the Raptors absolutely need to choose Jalen Suggs in this draft. But real quick before I move on, what's up YouTube, Plug Speaks, back with a vid. If you're new, first of all, welcome, go ahead and sub. Also like the vid if you enjoy. I upload three to four times a week and we are currently grinding for 5k so I'd for sure appreciate it. But back to the vid though. Now before I speak on what Suggs brings to the table and how he actually fits, I want to bring up Suggs most viral highlight. Cause I know we all saw it, like even if you don't watch college basketball, a lot of people don't, but I know we all saw it. And I'm referring to his half court game winner in the NCAA tournament. It was spammed all over social media, and obviously there was some luck involved with that going in, but things like that are exactly what lets you know. You're dealing with a special player, and as the cliche says, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. It's really that simple. But yeah, now for a brief breakdown. Jalen Suggs is an athletic combo guard that's fully capable of controlling the game. And people that knew about Jalen before the draft already know this, but this man had D1 offers to both basketball and football. Like he literally could have got drafted to the NFL just a month ago. He was a four star recruit as a dual threat quarterback. But anyway, I bring that up to emphasize the fact that Suggs is not just any other athlete. He's got a quick first step, great size for a point guard at 6'4", and he's acrobatic enough to where he can finish around the rim in so many different ways. So yeah, offensively he almost has the full package because he's fully capable of putting up high scoring numbers and he's also one of the better playmakers in the whole draft. He just knows how to find his teammates. And the only reason I wouldn't say he has the full offensive package is because he's pretty streaky from beyond the arc. Now he can shoot but just not as consistently as you would like. And then as far as defense, it's not as prolific as his offense, but the man defends. He's really one of the best guard defenders in the draft. Now overall, in a total of 30 games played at Gonzaga, he averaged 14 points, 4.5 assists, 5 rebounds, and 2 steals on 50% shooting from the field and 34% from 3. Now that efficiency is nice, especially from the field, but the overall stat line may not seem too impressive, specifically the 14 point average. But see, Jalen was not the number one scoring option at Gonzaga. Believe it or not, he wasn't even number two, and I believe he could have been, but he left the scoring to two of his teammates who are actually also about to get drafted. One of them being Corey Kispert who will probably go in the lottery. So yeah, the context of the situation always matters. But yeah, now for his actual fit with this Toronto Raptors team. Well, for one, the Raptors aren't in dire need of a point guard, but they do need a point guard for their future of the future. Because obviously the Raptors organization loves Lowry and Lowry loves Toronto, but the man is 35. And it was no secret that if he were traded in the middle of the season, then it would have been to the 76ers or another team that puts him in a winning situation. So yeah, now that he's entering free agency, the Raptors should expect him to move on from the organization. And then even if he doesn't, you need a new point guard to lead the team forward anyway. And by landing Jalen Suggs, they wouldn't have to worry about this position for a while. And I know some may bring up Fred Van Vliet because he can play that role as well. But if anything, 
I see Jalen and Van Vliet sharing the floor as combo guards, especially since today's NBA game is so positionless. For instance, the Brooklyn Nets showed it firsthand, cause Kyrie played the two and Harden played the one. That's completely unconventional, Harden is literally taller than Kyrie, but it worked. All it requires is that one of the guards can score explosively, and Fred Van Vliet can definitely score in bunches. He's far from the most efficient, but he had a 54 point game this season. He can definitely score explosively. So yeah, them sharing the same position wouldn't really matter. And again, with Jalen Suggs on the roster, the Raptors could rest assured their point guard position is handled for the foreseeable future. But anyway, on to another reason. I believe he simply fits the personnel. And I don't know if it's just me, but looking at the Raptors roster, they're capable of much more than their record claims. Guys like OG Ananobi, Gary Trent Jr., Chris Boucher, they're not scrubs. They're legitimate pieces that would get minutes on any playoff team. You could even add Siakam, even though I'm not sure if he'll actually be on the roster next season. But yeah, regardless, I believe Jalen would thrive in the amount of spacing the Raptors have on offense. And I say that because this past season, the Raptors shot a quality 37% from three as a team. And Jalen Suggs is no stranger to good spacing. Back at Gonzaga, the team shot 37% from three as well. So basically, he would have enough room to perform to his best ability, and he would definitely rack up some assists being surrounded by perimeter threats like Van Vliet, Bruce and Gary Trent. So yeah, I really do believe he would just fit with the personnel pretty easily. But anyway, beyond my first point and this last point I just made, there's one more point I got that really trumps all of that. And it's simply that sometimes it just comes down to taking the best talent available. And some may argue that then the choice would be Kaminga, but not to me. See, Jalen Suggs is just so polished, and his basketball IQ is no joke. Just look at the fact that he shot 50% from the field as a guard, as a freshman guard in college. Now he didn't shoot 50% from the field because he's some beastie shooter that thrives in the mid range. Nah, sure he can make middies, but he shot 50% from the field because his actual shot selection is smart. He knows what's best for him and the team in most situations. But yeah, overall that's pretty much it. And like I've been saying, if he's available at the fourth spot, the choice won't be hard. Jalen Suggs is the one. But let me know your thoughts about this scenario. Do you agree? Why or why not? What other teams would you like to see Jalen Suggs on? And yeah, I appreciate y'all watching. As always, like the sub, share, sub if new, all of that. And I'm out.